So to be a lesson, I will talking about the electric gas symbol. So this is a symbol for the incandescent lamp. And this is a incandescent lamp on wall. Here is a lamp holder. This one is spot light. This is flat light. This is signal lamp. This is a fluorescent light. This is a twin fluorescent light. This is discharge lamp. This is switchboard. And here is apply hot water system, HVEF. Apply exhaust fan, air conditioner, AC. So those are symbols need to be utilized to prepare for the electric gas uh, diagram. Here is a switch, Singapore switch, Singapore two switch, two way switch. So this diagram for the circuit diagram for a two way switch. This is an intermediate switch or three way switch diagram. So this uh, three way switch here we you utilize. This is an intermediate switch that is symbol. Here is a tie switch. Here is power, 10 MBA socket outlet. So those are the diagram. Here is 50 MBA socket outlet that you go. This is the multiple outlet. And special socket outlet that you go. And telecommunication outlet, this one. Wall telephone, flow telephone, electric bear, electric cloud. Here is emergency switch, fan, and a fire alarm. So the use of that both are simple, you have to sketch the electric gas equipment plan for the room. So this is a uh, example electric gas uh, equipment plan for the room. We utilizing the those are simple and then we can draw the plan. In the meantime, that you also have to do the socket outlet detail plan. So the outlet number, outlet detail and the room number you have to put this is a room schedule. Here is a light white detail white number, tile suite and row, and this is appliance name and the row. All they have to be that you like when you prepare for the uh, flow plan, uh, not only the assembly but also the details are uh, in schedule has to be provided. Here is an emergency light, a fan, fire alarm, and emergency fan. We also sketch the equipment plan for the room, you also list the type of the equipment. From the plan, the electrical equipment style, location numbers are to be mentioned. So this is the on a plan. You can lay this is protected you can lay. So this is the arrangement of the supply, base suite, and arrangement of the light and the power control switch, and also RCD, and protected neutral, unprotected neutral, configuration are diagram. So, the, this is the way that we are talking about the protection. And re regarding this uh, a drawing, so this kind of the three dimension drawing. If the drawing here, we can draw the, draw the line. So, if you look at from the side, you can see that the, the, that's the diagram. So, this is the three dimension. You can look at the from the uh, radial side. That way, you can utilize a uh, auto the graphic uh, uh, drawing. So, this is isometric. From the orthographic line, you can see here will be the uh, there's a symbol of the diameter. So that will be the section that view. So that we this uh is a develop we cut from the AA line. So this is the section view you can see. The whole here, here this is a cut of a section line. So this is section view we can find out. So here will be the isometric drawing, isometric drawing, the three dimension drawing. That this is the whole here. So this is left side and the right side and the this is bottom. So this is the top view, left view and the right view. So the top view you can find out like this. Left side view here, right side view here and the front view here. So this is all the basic drawing diagram. And also you have to view that this, uh, this uh, electric, uh, electric, uh, so this electric meter. So this isometric drawing. So that's what you can look at the from the Side view is this, this you see this is a uh, this is a top view you can find out like this left side view and right side view this is front view you can find out so this uh, we can draw a three dimension diagram so this three dimension you can you can select the, the three dimension so that will be the thirty degree thirty degree this is the isometric if you draw like this this is forty five degree from the horizontal line this is the obvious time. So this is the way we can find out the circuit diagram. So here will be the circuit diagram. So this is the uh, real connection diagram of the electrical bolt. 
and this is a circuit diagram. This real connection diagram is supplied here. This is the uh, line one and line two, and this three one and six two are protected. Control. So that one will be drawn by the circuit diagram, line one, line two, and now this way control. So that uh, this is for the VS are connection. Supply switch, they controlling that line one and line two. So this is real connection. VS are diagram. So this is the circuit diagram. Supply switch, control the line one, line two. Here is a wiring diagram. Wiring diagram is line one, line two is here, and this is switch one, switch two. So red lines are the supply line, and uh, black lines are the neutral, and the green line are the uh, arc. So this is two light is controlled by the two switch. So circuit diagram two light control the two switch. So this is for the circuit diagram. This is the real wiring diagram. Here is a uh, real connection. In this connection, you can see that this is a as being a neutral link. So this is for the control switch. It's controlling the connecting the uh, two socket outlet and also light. So that's why I know. that why diagram is a we can draw it, this uh, circuit diagram. So this is a RCD. This one, the so two power point, and this is switch. This is the light. So this one is a power point. And also this is light by control, this is power point, and this is the light. So this is RCD. Here we need a protecting nuclear, this is the unprotecting nuclear, and this is the arc. So that's configuration. Then one we can draw, this is the protecting nuclear and unprotecting nuclear, this is arc diagram, and RCD here, and this is the light here. So this is the we can only circuit diagram. So red line are the active. And black line are the neutral, green line are the ah. So that is a uh, real uh, connection. Com uh, install the install the electric device. Here is a they are circuit diagram. And also that this one is the uh, uh, two uh, two light controlled by the two switch. So this is for the socket outlet. So this is real uh, connection, and this is the appropriate uh, they are wiring diagram. So this is rear connection, rear are installation. So they are two light, the two switch and socket outlet. So the two light, two switch and socket outlet. So this is the red lights are the supply, active wire, black line are neutral wire and greens are the up wire. So this this uh, diagram, this is rear installation. We get replaced by the, the wiring diagram. So and also that this uh, circuit here, so this is also the uh, two uh, light, and here control circuit that uh, they are diagram. So this is also you see the power one and power two, and supply neutral link and Q one, Q two, Q three, and also the the power circuit, uh, circuit. So this is for the uh, power meter. Power meter readings are uh, connection P1, P2, P3, and supply neutral And this is for the uh, Q1, Q2, Q3, and also supplying, and also the main circuit. So this uh, circuit configuration. This circuit configuration is a this is a connection diagram. So this is more than we can utilize the power P1, P2, P3, and supply neutral links, also the fuse one, fuse three fuse, and also uh, sub connected to the device and supply connection, and also the, the controls link. So this is the uh, their diagram. This is via uh, installation. This is for the uh, configuration circuit. Okay, I do this stage out. Uh, I can talk about the electric circuit diagram and real electric uh, installation. So this is the means are uh, uh, before the the real electric installation, the circuit diagram, and this is the wiring diagram. The real electric installation, this is circuit diagram. 
React Electric dot get installation circuit diagram. React Electric get installation circuit diagram. So this is React Electric installation. They are connection. This supplies are switch. Also that this is the light. So this is one main control switch. So this is circuit diagram. React Electric installation circuit diagram. So how the circuit diagram we can develop for the React Electric installation. I talk about the React Electric installation and appropriate circuit and wiring diagram. Okay, I do this is how we are so the is important you can need to uh, develop the circuit diagram for the real electric installation and uh, similarly by looking at this uh, circuit diagram you need to interpret and then uh, you can really uh, install the electric installation if you know the circuit diagram like this you should be able to connect the real is now okay installation this is the circuit diagram based on the circuit diagram you can really install the electric installation the circuit diagram and so by preparing the circuit diagram Real electrical installation need to be uh, uh, constructed. So this is the way. Looking at the circuit diagram, how the real electrical installation can be uh, how to where you are practically uh, wire up the circuit. So this is that I talking about the, the principle. Okay, then I when talking about the specification. If uh, you are the electrical engineer, you need to be understand the you need to understand the specification. They are Types of the electric specification, three types. Function and specification is a, it defines a function. And also the, it's a rule and a requirement and a solution has to be developed. So this is a function and specification. Performance specification, the purpose, depending on the logic as an extension of the function and also desire result of the task. So this is the performance. How the performance happen? For example, it's a, uh, some is that uh, you have to you got to evaluate pass or fail. Uh, whether you you function is a uh, you can uh, utilize it uh, whether this function can be workable or not with it. So this is the uh, if this function is workable, uh, performance is uh, function workable. This is pass, otherwise fail. So this is the performance specification. The purpose whether your real is uh, utilize uh, this device in the real uh, uh, application or not is an uh, application. It can be applied, perform it all right. So by evaluation, you can pass it. But it cannot uh, perform, it will fail. So this is a performance uh, application based on the purpose. And technical uh, specification is uh, depending on the technical and the physical uh, characteristic. Dimension on the circle data side, those are the technical aspect. So technical and physical uh, characteristic included. Also, the dimension, color, uh, proper uh, properties, and require some process and the maintenance operation. Those are the te technical uh, the, uh, specification. So, based on the functional application, we have to develop the performance. Functional is that you have to define the function, go and requirement, and how the solution. And based on uh, your solution, you have to design the equipment, you have to utilize the equipment to satisfy the certain performance. And then, Technique, you follow us uh, develop the technique uh, specification. To uh, achieve uh, certain uh, performance, you need to utilize the uh, appropriate dimension, appropriate size, or appropriate uh, properties of uh, your materials and requirement, and also the how to uh, produce these devices in the manufacturing. So process of manufacturing, also the process of maintenance, those things are, are operational. They are uh, technique uh, specification. So then we have to uh, plan and uh, analyze. So before you are designing anything, firstly, you have to plan, you have to do the analysis. In this case, uh, plan and analysis is depend on that you have to collect the appropriate material, you have to engage the people, and also the define the requirement, and you have to determine the possible solution, and you have to value the analysis. Those are the development aspects. So therefore, the, when you are doing the analysis of performance, you have to apply the Consultation is important because of the, you are developing the certain uh, task and a certain function. The worker has to contribute that they are skilled. So in this case, you need to consult with the worker and provide the uh, information. That information uh, is uh, both uh, legal and the quantities are uh, in quality information you have to provide. So let's say with the end user and technology staff, we have to uh, cooperate. 
and then you have to write down that specification. So that specification should be the same bag as here, and also that you have to define the form and the same bag must be utilized, and also that you also have to utilize the appropriate uh, concise, and that must be the user friendly is important, and also specification are written in a function a paragraph, and also the uh, you have to uh, define and you have to draft the specification. And after that, you have to vet in. So you have to submit that, that application specification to the uh, public or the authorities. So whether those authority public agree with uh, if they want to change, you have to change it. Uh, this is the vetting time. And after that, there's an uh, issue. Everything, uh, all right, everything has been approved. Then you issue. And then uh, depending on the public real application, sometimes you have to amend the application. You have to change, you have to a little uh, change this is the amendment or this shall have to be done also you have to revise so this is the how to develop the specification the other best are two attachment every specification has to be included any attachment that will be the attachment is a application table or the survey notes or survey application method they need to use an appropriate title or table and instruction circle background and list of the time and list of the relevant documents. So those are also included in the, your uh, specification. That must be the title, that must be the appropriate table and the contents. And also the introduction must be included as scope of the application. For example, here 3000 rule, we can only utilize for the uh, utilization side. We can use all the transmission or distribution. Distribution side, we have to utilize the user with electrical service rule. So this is the scope. ES3000 only applicable for the, the utilization side. Also, low voltage, extra low voltage, but you can utilize for the medium voltage or the high voltage. So this is the scope. Every specification must have the scope. And also, introduction is important. And then, uh, also we have to utilize the background information. How the this specification is developed, how, how to change it, how application, those things are background information need to be included. And then, list of the item, list of the table, list of the relevant document must be included. This is the, how the specification is developed. So the, uh, in this lesson, uh, I'm talking about the appropriate uh, uh, circuit development, also the use of the protected wire building. So here is, uh, you can see that this one is a, uh, Neutral link. This is the alley, and this is the socket outlet, and here is the RCD, PR switch, and this is the light. So this circuit diagram. Here is the RCD. Here are the fuse holder, and they are connection diagram. When you are using the electric circuit, uh, electric uh, power switch or the measuring of power meter. Where do you like this circuit? So this is RCD, this is the fuse. Here connection are uh, there we can connect the AT and the neutral wire and the R wire. And this is supply neutral link, and then neutral link we can utilize. So here we need a connection diagram. So this is for the light, and this is switch, and this is socket outlet. So supply socket outlet, light switch are uh, conjugate. Here is a uh, that this is uh, uh, the socket outlet here, the socket outlets are similar to the office socket outlet. They are controlled by the test control suite. The control suite also control the light, light white. So this is the connection diagram. Okay, so today lesson, I cover the give us a protective configuration and give us selection. Then I also give you the how the electric wiring diagram and circuit diagram uh, related to the rear electric installation. Also, I give you the uh, principle about the specification development. So this is for the electric engineer. So electric engineer, I give you the electric engineer practice one. So page uh, 50 to 86, I explain about the configuration of the production circuit and also maximum demand calculation, selection of cable by using the AS3008. Then I show you the example, 
how the electric wiring diagram and also circuit diagrams are related to the pretty gas installation equipment. I talk about I talk about the RCD, how the RCD are utilized, what the kind of the RCD I talking about, and also I give you the basis of drawing principle as well as the idea how to develop the specification. So this is for the electrical engineering lesson. And then we're talking about the electrical trade too. So today lessons are I will be teaching you about the engineering drawing, engineering drawing and the termination of the cost and accessory. So the first thing we talk about the engineering drawing. There are two kinds of drawing, design drawing and working drawing. Design drawing here it is a circuit diagram. Working drawing is a, is a drawing to the really the, uh, install the electric gas component. So this design on the uh, drawing, design drawing, the definitions of also the working drawing. So in this case, our working drawing need to be uh, uh, prepared, but based on the design drawing, working drawing need to be prepared for the predicate tasks. Therefore, they, they are the design drawing is uh, the rough drawing. They are where there's an uh, idea, the wrong relationship side, they are the basic idea is given by the design uh, drawing. So here is a working drawing. The working drawing is that you have to provide the appropriate uh, plan, also the finishing the diagram drawing. Here is a uh, design drawing, circuit diagram. This is a predicate of wiring diagram. So the two light is uh, controlled by the switch and this is fused. So the that diagram is uh, the, the design drawing, circuit diagram, and rear connection diagram is uh, here. So this is the way we provide. So there are two kinds of drawing here. So we, before we begin this uh, any job, we have to provide a job specification. Job specifications are related to the work. In this case, uh, the, uh, it's depending on the size of the work, tools, equipment, accessory, labor, hour, uh, difficulty of the work, and the installations are condition, hazard area, no harm need to be uh, provided in the condition. So the, the job specification is uh, expressed uh, by ways of the uh, by including the uh, drawing, diagram, also the code, standard, and also the uh, related to the condition of the country and the legal purposes. Those things need to be uh, expressed in the job specification. So the two install the one switch by controlling the two light on the ceiling. The dimension of the room, 10 meter by 8 meter by 6 meter, and use a BBC for you and uh, include the necessary switch and the wiring sources. So this is a some best specification. Because uh, we are uh, install the end uh, installation. So in this case you have to use the where the data equipment to be installed and also have to provide the dimension and the what kind of the equipment and the material to be utilized and also the where the you have to uh, uh, perform the task those they need to be uh, included. The users are the designer, client, and uh, certified authority, estimator, tender, subcontractor, contract administrator, legal representative, project manager, construction manager, and facility manager. So before you do in the things, uh, we use the scale 1 to 2 address for the side drawing. So this is the uh, location of building and the control level of the ground and the side. And the floor plans, uh, after you draw the uh, side plan, you have to draw the floor plan for your building. So in this laundry, kitchen, uh, bathroom, bedroom, they are the, the uh, provided on the floor plan. So when we do the drawing, we have to provide the front view, side view, and the three dimension. Uh, and also that you need to provide the, the session of view, session of view is a root structure and a footing wall. And also you have to provide the a detailed drawing of the footing, also the all the accessory, and then also you have to provide, and also we have to uh, utilize the uh, architecture as a convention. So this is a diagonal hinge row or the double swimming row, and also the archway open is a uh, opening between the row. Uh, this is for the archway the diagram. How do we provide it? Here is a window on the cavity wall. So this is a how the windows are, are located on the cavity wall, this diagram. Also the cavities are brick wall. This is the symbol of the cavity wall. This is the timber and this is the brick bending wall diagram. Then also we have to utilize a, a schedule. So this is the 
location of the electric light, electric switch, also electric ray, fluorescent light, and socket outlet, their location. So they are uh, electric installation diagrams are uh, through uh, overview plan. So in this case, we have to utilize the appropriate uh, architectural scale. One to one hundred is the architectural scale. This is a one millimeter on the plan, so this is a hundred millimeter on the job. So there are three days drawing. Uh, you have to provide the scale of one to ten, one to five, one to two, and one to one. Therefore, the data says, uh, if you want to do the side the uh, plan, the so scale will be one to one only, one to five hundred, one to two hundred. Flow plan, you have to use the scales of 1 to 200, 1 to 100, 1 to 50, and 1 to 20. Elevation, 1 to 200, 1 to 100, 1 to 50, and 1 to 20. Side plan, 1 to 200, 1 to 100, 1 to 50, and 1 to 20. So this is what, depending on the kind of the drawing, what kind of scale, scale have to be utilized. So this is what the uh, drawing part one, in which idea, concept, or a specific detail are communicated. So this is the electric diagram of meaning. Five types of the diagram used in the electric electronic industry. They are the blow diagram, circuit diagram, wiring diagram, agricultural diagram, and the ladder diagram. Blow diagram is a, we use the exhaust fan to the depots are AC, cross and light, and ceiling fan. So this is for the switch, uh, am I, exhaust fan. This is for the timer switch, cross and light, and cross and light. So this is between entry and neutral. This diagram is blow diagram. And also circuit diagram. So this is a DD circuit diagram. Uh, so this block diagram, uh, based on the this block diagram, we draw the circuit diagram. This is a circuit diagram for the uh, exhaust fan. And uh, this is a circuit diagram for the time switch and light row. And uh, here is a wiring diagram. Wiring diagram is a DD electric at the light nuclear art. So this is look at the light method and this is look at the switch method. So those are the wiring diagram. Here we the architectural uh, diagram is a uh, fiber and this is for the connection and this is for the control and here is ladder diagram. So this is for the fiber are uh, cross and light and this is uh, uh, this is for the uh, other uh, light socket outlet the wiring diagram. Here is a ladder diagram. First layer is a timer is controlling a switch one to three. Switch to control the cross and light fiber. Switch 3 control the process and light go 1 and the switch 4 control the process and light go 2 and 3. So this is the data diagram. So this is simple as an exercise regarding the wiring diagram, data diagram. And here is a direct online strata connection. Direct online is a model strata connection. So this is for the Circuit diagram, this is wiring diagram. So here is a conductor, we are holding Y, this is holding an AC holding guy, this is a start switch, stop switch, and this is a three phase motor. So this is wiring diagram, this is the circuit diagram. Give a clean beam, so this is the function of the give a clean, we, we fix that this give a. Here is a two for the inflated two. So this is this is the way we measure the given insulation. So this is this two. Given insulation resistance measurement two. Here is forward reverse as data connection diagram. So in this case, are the interlock is here. Here is TOA is done overload. This is normally open. This is normally set to. Here is a magnetic interlock. So this is forward reverse connection diagrams are uh, test or holding coil, forward data holding coil uh, switch. So this is the interlock method. Interlock method is a uh, we cannot press the uh, forward and reverse uh, switch together. So this will be uh, have to be uh, do this uh, interlock. By providing the interlock, it can prevent the magnetic case a uh, light to light short, light to light fall. So this is the connection of the forward reverse uh, connection connection diagram to the electric circuit diagram and this is for the circuit diagram here, here is the predicates are uh, both are connection this is for our switch so this is a, those are circuit diagram those circuit diagram this is the predicate uh, wiring the diagram so this is the arrangement of the switchboard
by breaking blessing the H1, H2, or by blessing the H3, so it energizes the magnetic sway. So this is the how the magnetic sway it energize and how the operation is performed. So this one machine about the uh, by pressing the H1, H2, by pressing the H3, it energize the magnetic. So result is by energizing the magnetic coil Y1, Y2, so the conductor in the light do. And by pressing the H1, Y1 is already closed and it can energize the Y2, holding coil. And closing on the Y1 contact, line 3 energize, contact 1, but it can be inserted by the pressing H1. So after the counting the PDA, counter 1 will start close the contact in, in life hole so that the why the quiet and the jazz and the eight close and uh, respective contact in the finest uh, sorting outlet. So this is for the time mass uh, operations are set. So here is a symbol of the normally close, normally open. Also the normally open are time mass contact, the close timing. Also the, this is the diagram of the pew circuit breaker, normally open and normally close. Those diagrams, circuit diagram. So this is a letter diagram. Letter diagram is a letter diagram the firstly, Operation. This is the line one is an operation. And after the line two operate and then the line three equipment are operate, line four equipment are operate. So those are operations that, that is a letter diagram and they are function. They are function is now described here. So this is the these are operation principles are described in here. So give it does are so this case that we have to utilize uh, up to 75 million per square. We use uh, have to utilize a uh, for you and three dollars thirty five million dollars square diameter. We have to utilize the key that. So the next one is a uh, for the electric scale of schedule. So when you will make the any electric installation, the first thing that you have to do is like uh, a drawing, and then you have to provide the key schedule. Key schedule provide the specific detail related to the key installation. Uh, all this are schedule is a list. Specific diagram regarding the outlet and lighting why appliance review is a detail of the specific requirement related to the installation of appliance and equipment. Those things are cable and the schedule have to be followed. And here is the cable schedule terminal blow one. This is a terminal A B C D E F. Terminal blow D is an A B C D. So in this case, this one was so A is a try between the A and touching for the cable touching for the B and C cable. For the info of the AM, CMB, uh, give us a keeping uh, connected between the uh, D and E, and also the uh, give us a 18 is connected between the E and E, and give us everything is connected between the uh, F and E. So this is what I give us a diagram. So this diagram is a pretty good diagram, but this why you have to combine. This will then summarize upon. You can draw like this. So in this case, are those are for now. We have to move up the this is for the table. So when you are making the edits are give us schedule. So number in this case number and then you have to put the color and the size of the cable type from the point to the point. Those things are important. When you write the cable schedule, you have to put the serial number and also the color of the cable. Side of the cable, side of the cable, tie one, tie two, tie three, and the connection is a uh, from the this point and to another point. So this is the uh, cable schedule. The terminal cable schedule we have to provide like it. Therefore, by doing the cable schedule, then you can select the appropriate cable to do this appropriate cable wiring. So that cable schedule is a connection. Number two is a color is a red. And give a size of 1 million square, tie the T1, and from TV1 to A to the TV2 to A. So, this is the way of uh, some better diagram how to write the cable schedule. In this case, I uh, mention about the cable color and the size of the cable and the from point to the another point. And time with the round and schedule here, wire from uh, wire 2. So, in this case, I do, I have to put a time with the plot. So letting the rotation of the item or the dominating arrangement and identification of the answer market cable. So those are also important and also that we have to follow the special wiring equipment. So here is a, a terminal diagram. Terminal 1 to 2 is a cable as a 
if you give it, you can say give a name. And here I summarize for. And this one is a control diagram. So that control diagram is a uh, the control brown and this is red is a active, uh, blue is a another active cream flag with the new cream, green is a R. So then in this case, uh, wire uh, from here you can write down here the wire Y1 to Y2. Y1 to Y2, in this case, there is a number of the Konada. So number of the Konada is a which are Konada is Konada. So here is Konada D1. Konada D1 is joining between the uh, node Y, A1 and node B. D1. A1 and D1. The KBS are, its connection is KBS are. Is uh, ah, red color cable is connected. So, this is the way of by reparting as is this diagram. You have to write down the cable color connection to point to point and kind of the wire and the connection. So, this is the way that you have to uh, sum up the cables as per you. So the, after this theory, you have to do the predicate. The two day predicate is you have to uh, follow the one light control, two way, two way way. So this is a two way switch diagram, circuit diagram, and this is a predicate connection diagram. So you have to uh, connect the two way switch by the final two diagram on the wiring row. Single link control by single switch. So this is a circuit diagram. This is a predicate a length bender and this is a pew and this is a switch bender. So this is more the circuit diagram, but here is a connection diagram really. So the based on this one, you have to draw the connection diagram for the given circuit. In this case, the one switch controlling the two lines. You have to draw your side. So this is a KBS uh, KBS two diag schedule diagram. So this is TB one or TB two for the So this is a uh, number. This is a number two number here. So two number connection and also the red uh, color of the cable and the side of the cable. And also type you have to do draw in this side. Also do that this is a side KBS schedule is a side. And also the do the KBS schedule for that one. That is why the single is are length controlled by the parallel uh, connected switch. So these are S1 and S2 are parallel connection. These switch are parallel and the single line is controlled. So then we also need that you have to complete the, the, this circuit diagram. You have to complete the physical diagram. That is why the circulars are PBS. This is a wiring diagram, circuit wiring diagram. So this is for the two uh, switch are controlling the light. So this is the connection diagram and this is for the circuit connection diagram. And here is a real uh, wiring diagram in this one. This is about the panel, two and a uh, switch panel. So this is for the circuit diagram. Circuit diagram, here is a real connection diagram. And also the way to see that our THS wiring. So this is the wiring diagram. So in this case, these are, these are the circuit diagram and this is for the wiring diagram. So those are the circuit diagram and this is the wiring diagram. So this is, if you see that this circuit diagram, this is a wiring diagram like this. This is a circuit diagram, wiring diagram, this one, circuit diagram and a wiring diagram. Here is a symbol, all the uh, symbols. So this is for the switch, cues, circuit breaker, RCD, Long socket outlet, the symbol. And the best type of the electrical diagram to use in the upper boarding, there will be there's a there will be the answer the circuit diagram. And the circuit diagram is a DD diagram either to be described in the connection of the every component or the circuit and can also be used to a same way the operation circuit diagram. Operation circuit diagrams are summarized to as a 
This is the Kondada crossing, not dry. This is the Kondada dry. This is the Kondada dry. Kondada sa. Here is a circuit diagram conversion. So is a, this is called as a data mm, diagram. And here we use the operation principle. So this is the operation that con, uh, controls the uh, GWS. Here is the switchboard mounting. Switchboard mounting. So this is the open switchboard mounting. We connect it. And this is switchboard mounting open and close. This switchboard can be used by the this diagram. So this is a normally open and normally closed. And this is a normally closed. This is a way you have to open. So this is a main circuit breaker can be the repower the those diagram. How well is it? We have to use the internet speed. Internet, we use the internet search, provide a symbol for the following. Manually operate the switch, normally open, manually operate the switch, normally close, choose, then illumination, then signal illuminated, signal pull, double throw switch, as we did it, tightly contact, circuit breaker signal pull, double pull switch, triple pull switch, and slide our switch. Push button switch, push button switch. So today's lesson is uh, we are talking about the Singapore double crew suite. So those are the Singapore double crew suite connection diagram. And also the, this is a, for the, they are switch, uh, talk and switch diagram. So this one I mentioned about the connection of Singapore double crew suite and the switching diagram. So the first the, the two is this is for the intermediate switch connection. When you do the intermediate switch, they are circuit diagram and also switching diagram. So this one you read that this one, then we will read the tutorial question. So answer question and answer for the tutorial question. So this is for the connection of the conjugate bending. When you make the conjugate, we also need to meet the how to join the conjugate and also the, the circuit diagram or the connection diagram and the get switch board as well. A student lesson is a building construction and drawing. So they are the factor that influence the house of construction. When you design a house, those are the factor influencing the climate, soil condition, local state, other building regulation, environment, high risk awareness, and the government issue. Here is a building type. This building is a timber frame construction. So this is, here is a vanilla construction type. There will be a brick vanilla, and this is a KFD bridge construction method. So here is a, a, a metal frame the building. So all the metal pipe, and we are we build a building like this. So this is a business a construction of the house. This is a roof, ceiling, wall, floor, and base structure, and the flooring. So those are the components of the building. So when we are doing the components, firstly we do the foundation. The foundations are the the aqueous ground which the building is constructed. So that that will be the ground preparations. Are firstly we need to do the leveling, trenching, and the back buildings are important. The footing is need to be erected. The back of the construction that's for the low of the house in the soil is the footing. So this is the back footing. So this is the isolated bias, and this is a strip footing. They could put one the cordillas are ready for the concrete, pour around the building as a base for the eastern wall. So, this is a concrete footing, and this is a concrete stuff footing. So, we also have to do that. This is for the footing. Like we either the footing on the ground. So, this is the base of the floor structure. This floor structure is a cordillas of masonry wall, brick pair, concrete slab. So, this is a construction building, floor frame, and a footing. So, this is a temple. Temple is that we have to protect this uh, any oil or moisture coming in the building, we have to use the temple. So this is the water resistance sheet, and this is the structure, and this is the in anchor are uh, also instructed. The function is to help and uh, prevent the damping while entering the flow structure. If temple goes and the anchor are the place, the dams are goes up pavement moisture raising up the wall. The flow can be the timber bowl, concrete slab, Rock, 
skin and a smooth surface. What can be that this is the wall, that this is surface your roof, and that this is the wall, low bearing. Low bearing walls are transparent and low to the foundation, for the weight of the roof. No low the bearing walls are the partition wall. Do not carry the load and provide the space in the partition. This is the function of the building construction. So here we see there's a brick vendor wall. This diagram is a brick vendor wall. The brick outer skin, there's a blue joist and a wall bridge and the studs are constructed. So this will be the outside inside hole and this is the cavity. That cavity is uh, between the inner and the outside layer of the skin. The price is to prevent the transport of moisture allow the movement between the timber plate and the brick wall. Brick vendor wall will be the construction diagram. So you have to see the wall hole and the print of the key. And also that we have to know the technical task and their location in the diagram. Here we need that can be our wall construction. So this will be the outside brick wall, inside brick wall. This is that we have to use a wall type. So this is a wall type. So this is that we also use a demo book course. And this is the wall type that we constructed. And here is a low bed wall. The function of the low wall can be is uh, it provides a wider barrier, air circulation, time and acoustic insulation. So here, from this our cavity wall, we can run the cable in the cavity and then we connect it to the socket outlet. Then here we can see that the roof construction. Construction of the roof. Roof construction is that uh, this is the supported frame. So this is a roof covering. Roof covering are the five types of the sheets are there. They support in the timber frame wall. The type of the roof structure do not mind the uh, each of the access for the wire. So low grade is a conventional low grade. This is a diagram you can see on the wall book and also the technical time and location. So this is a trustable time construction. Trustable, this is the address, this is the top core and they are neighboring and here is the bottom core. Here is one member and supporting the wall pattern. So this is a uh, trustable time construction. So this is a construction step. First, you have to set out. Provision for the underground wiring and the beta supply. Then we have to use a to the footing, base, floor, wall, roof, and the cladding. So this is the brick layer. I do this one. Is a, we have to provide a brick layer. This step is the underground cable. And also, after that, this, all the steps are we have to electrician have to take part. After the interior lining, rush in, tiling, and in this tile also have to take part. And a paint out, paint it, and a final finishing it. Finish is a final pick out. So the whole this step, this step, plumber have to take out and take back. So this is the step of the building construction. So there are, there are the question and answer. You do the uh, do the question and answer. Then the six uh, main parts of the structure. So no questions are you have to uh, answer. This is a question. So give out, there is a, a construction diagram of the building. So there will be that this diagram is a, a construction diagram of wall and a cavity wall and place twice to the brick barrier construction. Here we say a uh, construction of the timber frame, bedding plate, temporal case, reinforcement. So it includes a Timber the uh, metals are free construction, so it also includes the water, weather, boat, bridge, tie sheet, treated metal, fiber basement, plywood, hardwood, PVC, sheeting, those are the construction of the metal free construction. This is the electrical cable, how the electrical cable run it, and this is the component of the building. Here is the road construction, road cavalry, supporting framework. This is the road, uh, trust road uh, construction. So this is how the uh, trust road are constructed. And here is a, we can also read as a building construction terminology. So this is a building construction terminology, or this is a technical term, and this is the uh, indication of the building component. The, now